Hi, Pastor Nathan Deck with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And I want you to try something. Next time you're at a stoplight, I want you to let up off the brake just a little bit and scoot forward and then look in the rearview mirror. Nine times out of ten, the person behind you is going to mimic that action, and the person behind them is going to mimic that action, and you're all going to scoot forward and get closer and pack together, and you know what's going to happen? It's going to slow you down. It's amazing how we push each other's bumpers at a red light. We can all see that the light is red, and yet we, we push ourselves forward. We, we get our exhaust, type, our exhaust pipes you know, blowing out into the radiators of our cars, which doesn't help the vehicle's maintenance at all, by the way. And then when we have to take off, we no longer have that space between our cars in which we could all easily move forward smoothly and accelerate well. Instead, we're kind of stopping, jerking back and forth, and it slows us down. You ever been in a hurry and found that when you got in that hurry, it actually slowed you down? You're in a hurry. You're going to leave the house. And so you, you, you get everything in your hands, and you're walking out the door, and then you realize, ah, I forgot my keys. And so you rush back in and you get your keys and you come out the door and you're putting the key in the door to lock the door and you realize, ah, I forgot my cell phone. And, and then you rush back in and you put the keys in the door and you rush back in and then you go out and you get, the, you, you get your cell phone and you walk back out and you realize, ah, I put my coffee down to pick up my cell phone. I, I've got to go back in. And before you know it, you're 5, 10, 20 minutes late. When we rush, when we push each other's bumpers at a stoplight, we're not getting anywhere quicker. In fact, we're causing life to be jarred and squeezed and, and just overwhelmed. And we're raising our anxieties. We're raising our worries. And by doing so, we're actually forcing ourselves to slow down. If we would simply give space and time, if we would just breathe and allow it to be, Recently, I've changed strategies as a father with one of my children. Surprise. I have a child who has been late most of his life. We often joke that it's because he was born on the Eastern Shore. My brothers and sisters on the Eastern Shore will laugh at this and will claim it that if you're born on the Eastern Shore, your life is at a slower pace and you tend to be late to things or whatnot. It's just a cultural context for the Eastern Shore of Virginia. And he was like that. He's most of the time like that. I'm not like that. I want to be 15 minutes early. I was raised with that whole mantra that early's on time, on time's late, don't be late. But what I've realized is that me rushing him, me pushing his bumpers, actually slows us all down. And so lately what I've done is change that around. I let him know, hey, we're leaving. And, and you know, get ready. And then he slowly gets ready. And then we walk out the door and... He's like, oh my goodness, Dad, I didn't realize we were late. And I was like, nah, it's okay. I'm not going to push you. I'm not going to rush you. And after a couple of days of doing that to soccer practice, something he wants to go to and be on time at, something amazing has happened. I'm not rushing him. I'm not pushing his bumpers. And we're actually showing up early, like really early, like 15 minutes early, like I'm comfortable doing. And there's so much less anxiety. So much less worry, so much less hecticness about it. And we all feel better. We have a de definitely a better relationship with each other. I'm letting him be him. He's letting me be me. We're separate vehicles, so to speak, on the road. And we're not pushing each other's bumpers. We're not sucking the tailpipe into the radiator. We're, we're truly accelerating together as the stoplight goes from red to green. All of us are going to come to stoplights in our lives. Instead of inching forward and being that jarringness, looking in the review mirror, smiling because we impacted somebody else and made them move forward too, just sit tight. Let the light turn green patiently, even if you get a car length in front of you, because the car in front of you does not have the patience that you have. And breathe. Breathe deep of what the Holy Spirit is giving you. You have been blessed with a moment at a stoplight. A time when you could offer prayer and find peace and zen and hope and love. And it's a blessing. And it's better together.